Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm excited to have you with me today because I'm going to be telling you guys about my 2021 fitness challenge that I'm doing for myself. And all of you guys are more than welcome to join me and share your progress throughout the year. And if you are a member, I'm gonna be sharing as much as possible weekly, I wanna say, if not daily updates on there about my progress with my fitness challenge. So head over to memberships. You can click the join button below and you can join and stay updated and get training tips and everything all throughout this entire year. But I wanna tell you guys what I'm gonna do and maybe you're interested in learning or taking part in some of these tips as well to have a healthy 2021 because we all know 2020 was a little bit challenging when it came to staying fit and healthy for me specifically considering all the races were canceled and that's my motivation okay without further ado let's dive in there are eight things that i'm going to be trying to do this year and follow very strictly in order to hopefully compete in a full Ironman by the end of the year. But if not, just to get fitter and to feel better and healthier because I totally fell off the bandwagon in 2020. I don't know why, it's the first January, February, March, April, and even in May, I was doing really well in training, assuming that the races weren't gonna get canceled or the, the pandemic wouldn't hit us as hard as it hit other countries. But we all know that kind of rapidly changed and all the races were canceled with the exception of maybe just a couple and I was actually staying fit from home a lot and I was working out and eating well until May. May is when I just started kind of not really caring and I lost for the first time in really my entire life I lost a lot of motivation and just didn't really feel like training or eating healthy and I kind of fell into some more unhealthy habits of not necessarily, I would. I was drinking more than I usually do because I found that I had to focus more on my work and that was really stressful. And because I had to focus so much more on my work, because my work experienced a lot of kind of detriment as a result of the pandemic, I had to work harder at that and that made me more stressful and I didn't have an, enough time to work out because I was working so much more. Anyways, I'm just looking to really focus in 2021 20, on these eight things. All right, so number one is walk for 45 minutes fasted either in the morning or in the late afternoon. I think it's really important to go for a fasted walk a day because first of all, you're able to burn fat when you're walking fasted. You wanna keep a heart rate of less than 120 beats per minute when you're on these walks and you want it to be somewhere between 100 and 120, ideally for that fat burning zone. And I found that when I was at my fittest, I was doing that every day. Uh, I like to do it first thing in the morning, but due to kind of needing to pick up more work, I end up doing work early in the morning and then going for my walk before breakfast. So if I'm not able to do so in the morning, then I'll go at around 3 p.m. before I'm gonna have dinner, which I usually have around 4.30. In the winter, it's nice because I can walk at sunset and listen to a really nice podcast or maybe Crime Junkie or maybe NPR. It's just a way to clear my mind. And if I'm listening to an NPR podcast, like how I built this, it gets me motivated to wanna work harder or I can get tips from that. And sometimes I'll just listen to music and get in a nice zone. But yeah, I'll drink water and I'll walk and I'll just, it gets me in the right headspace and it's also a nice fat burning workout, just like a light workout. All right, number two is to train five to seven days a week. I say five to seven because it depends on the training zone that I'm in based on my training plan for the Ironman. In the first half of the year, I'd be training around five days a week with two days of strength and rehab sort of thing. And then later on in the season, kind of mid season, I'll be training around seven days a week, then it'll work back down to five as I taper for the Ironman. And I do wanna do a few races before I compete in that Ironman end of the year. So I'd like to do a, a marathon, an Olympic try, a 70.3, and then a full. Yeah, the training plan varies, but five days a week, I really wanna work at because if I can stay consistent with five days a week and then seven pushing myself during those summer months, and then tapering, I think I'd be really happy by this time next year. Number three is one gallon of water a day minimum. And this is pretty easy. I find a gallon a day isn't that much. This is a really nice water bottle. I just got it on Amazon. I'll put the link in the description box below, but it has 7 a.m., 9 a.m., 11 a.m., 1 p.m., 3 p.m., 5 p.m., and 7 p.m. when we're supposed to drink this whole thing. And this thing, I don't think it's a gallon. So this is 2.5 liters. I like to drink two of these if I'm training during the day. If I'm not training and it's just a rest day, then I'll just try and drink one of these. Drinking more water allows me to 
eat cleaner. For some reason, when I drink more water, I find myself fuller for longer and also more hydrated for training, so like less headaches. And also I find myself eating better foods if I'm drinking more water. Yeah, that's definitely a goal for me. I do drink about a gallon a day now as is, but I am not as consistent as I would like to be, especially on weekends. So I do wanna keep consistent with that. All right, number four is a fasted water mix every morning. So right when I get up in the morning, what I try to do, and I've been doing this for years, is drink a liter or half a liter of warm water with lemon, and I put ashwagandha there, L-glutamine, fiber, and his vital proteins morning mix. And I just down that right when I wake up in the morning, even before my coffee, even before my morning walk, and it really helps me with focus and getting that hydration in right in the morning, which just sets the whole tone for the day for me in a good way. So that's something I wanna stay consistent with. I don't, I maybe do that like twice a week during the past like five months in quarantine. I don't know why, just I've fallen off the bandwagon, but I wanna stay consistent with that because it's so important to me, especially getting that L-glutamine and fiber in when it comes to training hard for an Ironman. That sets for such good gut health, which is so necessary and important when it comes to training for an Ironman. So I don't wanna skip out on that mix and I'm gonna try really hard to have it every single day this year. All right, number five is no alcohol Sunday through Wednesday, not even a glass of wine. And the reason being is because Mondays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, I like to go for my swims. And those swims are usually early in the morning at around 5 a.m. I'm usually up at around four to get do some work before I go to my swim. But also it sets me up for the week with training and I don't have to experience any brain fog or any sort of even little bit of feeling off from even a glass of wine. I can really stay focused and train really well and hard and strong Sunday through Thursday. And then Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday night maybe, I can have like a couple glasses of wine or so. And I wanna be able to enjoy life and I love wine. So I do wanna be able to enjoy that. You only have one life, but I do wanna stick with my training. And I feel that if I have that structured, no alcohol, then I will train harder. All right, number six is playing some pajamas every single day. For those of you who don't know, Katie Zafaros is an Olympic triathlete. She's actually gonna compete last year, but due to the pandemic, didn't happen. So she's hoping to compete in the next Olympic. Her husband, Tommy, also does photography and video and interviews for the ITU World Triathlon races. I'm not sure if he does Ironman. I think that's pretty much what, but he takes some incredible photos. She's an incredible athlete. And during the pandemic, she was actually doing these planks and pajamas every single night. It's 10 minutes of abs and core, and you don't need any equipment. And she does it on her Instagram live. She has a whole archive. So even if she doesn't do them live this year, I'm going to go through that archive and try and do core for 10 minutes every single day. I was doing it the first five months of the pandemic and I noticed a huge, huge difference, like less pain and less back pain, better strength and focus when it came to my training. So that's something I'm gonna focus on and I don't find it really hard to focus on it. You can do it right when you wake up in the morning or right when you go to bed, but it's easy to get 10 minutes in and it's so important. Core strength is so, so important. Number seven is to eat predominantly plant-based, which is what I do now anyways, and I don't even have to try hard for it. I really enjoy eating plant-based and when I eat you know, cheese and dairy products specifically, I find that I have, and this might sound gross, so just beware, you can mute it right now if you want for about five seconds. It's a lot of mucus buildup when I'm especially swimming distance. So imagine swimming in a lake or an ocean during a race and having like mucus buildup and you have to cough while you're in the water while you're swimming. That is a serious thing for me that has been really detrimental to my training and it happens only when I eat dairy or cheese. I also don't really like chicken anymore. It's just the stringy things in it and just it reminds me of Kishmir because Kishmir is kind of pink and I just can't, I don't find joy in it and I don't really like it anymore. I'm not a huge red meat eater. I maybe have red meat like once or twice a year. And so I don't miss meat at all and I don't want it. And if I want it, I'll have it if I feel like my body needs it. But otherwise, uh, I do love lobster and oysters and shrimp, but I'm trying to steer clear of that because cholesterol, I'm just really trying to be as healthy as possible. And the majority of my meals that I love come from chickpeas, to be honest. I love chickpeas, so I'll literally go through a can a day of chickpeas and I'm trying to you know, use dry chickpeas and make them fresh, but eat more plant-based, that's a goal of mine. Number eight, and the last one is to do three workouts 
that are strength based with a little bit of cardio and some hit from my workout app a week. And I'm not promoting my workout app here, but I actually created this workout app based on my trip around the world and how I didn't have any equipment to work out. Oftentimes I would have to work out in my hotel room with no equipment, maybe just like a wine bottle or a garbage can or my suitcase or my backpack. And so these workouts are focused on strength and conditioning and also there's some cardio, there's some walk, there's some HIIT training, plyometrics, and I wanna just stay consistent with doing three workouts from that app a week. I feel that that'll really help me with my strength when it comes to Ironman training and just staying on track. So that is it, those are my goals. If you wanna do this challenge with me, let me know in the comments below, and you can also join memberships where I'm gonna be updating you guys and sharing tips and tricks. Here's to a happy, healthy 2021, let's hope. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please be sure to like it. If you did, hit that subscribe button and notification bell to get notified when I post new videos. And otherwise, I will see you guys in the next video. Happy New Year and see you soon. Bye.